guys, it's Love here. Um, I'm here in my garage and I just wanted to show you guys my very first attempt at spray painting with stencils. Um, so I'm just going to go through the line with um, the order that, that, that I did them in and how I improved. Well, how I think I improved. So let's start with this one. So this one's for my mum. Um, it's a blue jay um, flying into the trees. I'm not very proud of this one. Um, the blue is very blotchy um, and the purple um, puddled in places. Um, so yeah, I just put it down way too thick and didn't shake up the can enough. Um, but if I had to choose um, a good thing about this um, spray painting, um, I'd probably choose the leaves at the top. I just grabbed some leaves from outside in my garden and just um, put them on the canvas and just painted over them. I didn't add a weight or anything, they just sat there. But I think that looks really cool. Okay, so the next one is a Pokemon related one. Um, so this Pokemon is called Solgio or Solgio or something. Or Solgel. I Okay, I can't pronounce it um but yeah all those pokemon fans out there will know who he is um so i just drew the poke uh, i put a stencil down for the pokemon at the bottom and just um put a stencil down for the pokeball as well um this one isn't too bad pokeball could be better but i'm happy with this one the next one is completely failed and i'm not proud of it um, it's for my brothers, um, they really like Big Hero 6, um, so I decided to draw, um, Baymax and, um, the villain, um, but over here we have Baymax and Hero, um, there's a silhouette of them, um, and over here I tried to do the, um, mask, um, the villain's mask and it completely failed, I am not proud of this at all. Um, I should have just painted it, like, with a paintbrush. Um, but I put down the stencil and I s sprayed the red over it. And the red just leaked everywhere under the, um, stencil. Um, and so I didn't even know that it had leaked. I thought it would be fine, but nope. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm probably gonna, when it dries properly, I'm probably gonna paint white over this part here. Oh yeah, I made the big mistake of not wearing gloves while doing this, so this is probably going to be here for a while. Um, and then the last one is this one. Um, this is definitely my favourite. Um, I think I learned a lot along the line of spray painting. Um, but I just used the stencil for the um, dinosaur. And then for the background with the mountains, I just grabbed a piece of paper, I scrunched it up a little bit, and then I just bent it in the shape that I wanted, and then I just put it on the uh, on the canvas. I held it with one hand. Oops. I held it with one hand and just sprayed with the other hand, and it turned out really great. I'm really proud of this. Um, it's definitely my favourite one. Um, so that's all, um, my spray paintings. Um, of course I just did a little practice run, like, on a normal piece of paper. Um, but yeah, um, I'm happy with the results of my very first spray painting. Um, I'm definitely going to do this again one day. Hopefully I can film the whole thing next time. Um, and like, um, time lapse it or something so you guys can see me doing it and all the mistakes I make and everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll definitely do this again and, um, hopefully you guys are looking forward to it. Um, but that's all for this video. Um, make sure to like if you like this video and subscribe for more. I'm trying to get into a more frequent, um, video I'm trying to make videos more frequently it's just that life and um, school gets in the way sometimes so I'm trying to get more videos up every week or every month 
or even every year. I really need to get better with this if I want to become a YouTuber. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, that's all for today, and I guess I'll see you in the next video, whenever that'll come up. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye.